but it's time. Well, you know, we got to make some money. Let's go. Let's 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 get some business. Let's get let's get the people back into Penticton. Although 2022 has started off as another year in the pandemic, the South Okanagan Event Center has hoped this year for big celebrations and shows to go ahead. I think we're excited. I mean, I say that with a little bit of uh, caution. Uh, the last few weeks with a, a couple shows that have either canceled outright or shows that have been moved to the summer. But I do think that, you know, once we get into the middle of February, from what I've read everywhere else in the world, that this is going to turn into an endemic and that we're really optimistic. Well, the past year has been challenging for the SOEC. Being able to welcome back V's fans was a big accomplishment. We did bring very important pieces to the community. And we were able to support those things with our tenant, the V's. You know, we're still able to have a bubble season. We're still able to have a full season this year. Very important to our community for what they do for our community. You know, and also with OHG, you know, the Okanagan Hockey Group to keep kids playing hockey, still super important. Yeah, sure, it's been challenging. You know, we've had staff rollbacks. We've had staff cuts. We've had staff furloughs. You know, th there has been a lot of fl flexibility that our staff have had to take. Same with the city. You know, we've been over budget. There's no doubt about it. Next week, the Globe Trotters will be showing up for a slam dunking show. For Castnet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.